welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. We're just gonna do an update on the worms in this video. So, y'all know it's been two months since I posted a video about like when I had made started this worm, worm farm. And I've been checking in, of course, and feeding them. I, don't, I haven't gave y'all no updates on it. But today, we're gonna finally change the dirt. I'm not a professional at this, but I think I'm assuming from my research that it's, it's I think it's about time I change it and um and show y'all how many worms we have. Y'all can remember we started with three containers. I think we started with 90 worms. So I'm gonna pull out all the worms we got, the babies, the big ones and all that, even the little small white ones. They've been having a lot of babies y'all. So we're gonna pull out all of them and we're gonna put them inside these little containers right here. I can with a little bit of dirt. I'm gonna give it some fresh bedding. And this is what we got y'all, so. What I should have did was fed them, but I didn't plan. I didn't plan this video out, so I would have fed them. This is the side I feed them on, like from here over. And now I would have known that that was all of it. But since they usually eat over here, I'm sure that they over here. Now I wasn't gonna bother them, but what made me want to change the soil was I realized that I went in the feed them the other day and I dug in and I realized some of them was dead. So it made me want to change them. But I'm gonna set the phone up. I ain't gonna do too much talking during this video, y'all. We just gonna start pulling them out. Let me show y'all one little baby. We probably gonna lose a couple. But y'all, this is a baby one. It's a tiny one. Real tiny. I'm gonna start with that one. Shouldn't harm much at all. Get row put in there. I wanna sprinkle a little bit of soil in there on them. Just to keep them cool. We're gonna try to save as many worms as we can, y'all. As many as we can. I'm not gonna do a count, but we just eyeball it to count and see how much we got. But y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna get the phone set up and we're gonna see how many worms we can pull out. This one died. This what I was noticing, but the, the dirt's so warm. I mean, cool. I don't know why they dying, but. It's a new one, but they grew a little bit. He can actually be used. And I haven't harvested any worms sufficient for big y'all. This one off the top. This one, man. Started with 90, but we probably got three, four hundred worms. Y'all yeah, probably got over a hundred on one side so far. We ain't even got to the other side yet. All right, y'all. So we're gonna turn off the camera for a minute. I'm gonna pick all of these worms out, and I'm give y'all like a whole, a whole layout at the end once I get all the worms pulled out. So y'all stay tuned and stick around. I've been digging these worms out for the past hour. It's no easy way around it, but I'm gonna show y'all what we got. And this two months. We started off with 90, obviously we got hundreds right now. These are grown, these are more mature worms. I got all the smaller ones in here. I'm not gonna dump them out. They real small, tiny, and white. Let me show y'all. This is what we got right here for the. These are these are these are the smallest worms I ever seen in my life, y'all. But they coming out this. We got hundreds of these. We probably got hundreds of these, y'all. We don't start off with 90 worms. Now we get it. Now honestly, I feel like it's more to go. Which is good. It's not bad though. It's good because you want wet moisture and cool. They'll never get they'll never get dry and die. But that dirt I'm gonna put in here kind of good too. I might leave a little bit, you know what I mean? Alright, 
now, y'all. So we got all the dirt out. We're gonna add the bedding in. Just some shredded paper. And the whole point of this was because I feel like the 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 whole the whole box had got too wet and moist over time, so it was just kind of chunks of like just chunks of mud. So I kind of wanted to give them not dry but cool dirt. So yeah, that's what we're gonna put in. We're putting that in the bottom. We still got like another five inches of dirt. So we're gonna add. So I got this topsoil, not sponsored or nothing, but it's from Walmart. It worked for it worked perfectly fine, it seemed like so. When I started this, I dug my own dirt. I ain't even got back around to that, so took the laser out and just bought some soil. Actually, let me see. And another thing, I didn't like the fact that it was all chunky and hard. I kind of wanted it loose, soft, so they can move through it easy. I'm not a worm. I don't know how much how easy they move around. But I can imagine it could be aggravating trying to move through some thick, hard chunks of mud. But if y'all know anything about worms, let me know. If that's better for them. I'll change this again. Get some dirt. Make it, make it some mud. Y'all can see. I'm not really taking away the moisture from the worms. If y'all think that. Being that I took out the wet dirt. This dirt really moist and wet too. It's been outside. So, should be perfect. All right, y'all, we're gonna dump the worms in. I'm gonna just put them on this side over here where I usually feed them at. I'm not gonna spray them out. I'm gonna let them do their own thing. They'll find their way around. I'm gonna come back in like five minutes. They, know, they are gonna be gone. I'm not even gonna touch them. Then we're gonna dump the smaller ones out, the babies. Just gonna put them right beside it. And that's it, y'all. I'm gonna go grab the uh, the food form and the cardboard that I'm gonna lay on top. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so like I was saying, they was all gonna crawl away. They pretty much went under the surface a little bit. But we got the cardboard for like just the shade that we throw on top for them. Uh, grind up crackers that I like to feed them, and then the coffee gums. So I'll show y'all. These been brewed and they've been in the refrigerator cooling for probably like a week, a couple of days, something like that. I don't know. But I like to sprinkle them. On one side before, before this, before I refresh the soil, I was always feeding them over here. But since I dumped them over here, I'm gonna feed on this side, and then they probably gonna end up, you know, doing their little worm thing and coming over here and eating over here. But sprinkle it on top, make sure it's broken up, fine as possible. At the beginning, there's one thing, one takeaway from this though. If y'all ever do this, if you do it one tip, try to feed them like the finer, the finest things you can feed them. I think I was giving them too much protein at one point, or either too big too much like the, the food i was getting was too chunked up i was feeding grits at some point and i noticed that the worms would have lumps in them so that was not good but i ended up doing a little research on result and then like coffee grounds and all kinds of other stuff i think i'm gonna put the whole filter in here y'all they'll probably love the filter that's inside the coffee thing itself i'm gonna actually put it over here while i dump the worms at no, I'm going to put it in the middle. They're going to use it as a navigation system. That'll help them figure life out. Ah, put a couple of worms in there. Get some of this dirt. There, right there. It's trash. Then I'm going to sprinkle these right here on top. like this y'all one thing you know they eating it and you know when it's all gone you come back and all the color going it just look like dirt 
I could open this up in the middle of the night in, in like three or four days and it looked like I never added anything in it. So that pretty much let me know they're eating. And the only time I ever disturbed the worms, which I haven't in two months, was just to, which was just to come and change the dirt. But other than that, I don't bother them. I don't turn the dirt. I just add food. And I look through, I might look through the dirt just a little bit just to see. One thing y'all notice, I did say I feed on one side, but since I dumped them out on one side today, I just added food. But going forward, I'm gonna only feed on this side, on the right side of the container. I damp this, it's real moist, and I just lay it on top. Right here. That's it, y'all. So thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.